For ages, we've looked up at the night sky, wondering about the universe. Back in the 20th century, scientists came up with the Big Bang Theory to try and explain how the universe started and grew. But even though a lot of people accept it, it still can't answer some big questions. Recently, some discoveries have made things even more confusing. For example, in 2023, the James Webb Space Telescope spotted stuff that seemed to be around before the universe existed. This really surprised experts and made them wonder if stars could live longer than the universe itself. That doesn't make sense with what we know now. Could it mean we need a whole new way of thinking about the universe? We will check out these questions and more. If you want to keep up with the latest space news, hit subscribe, like this video, and turn on notifications. About 200 light years away, in the Lyra constellation, there's a star called HD 14283. It's interesting because it's moving super fast, 4,483 kilometers per second. This gives us clues about its rough past. A long time ago, when the Milky Way was still forming, it crashed into a smaller galaxy that had this star in it. But what's really amazing about HD 14283 is how old it is. It's one of the oldest things we've ever seen in space, kind of like the Methuselah of stars. At first, people thought it was 16 billion years old, but now they think it's closer to 14.46 billion years old, give or take 800 million years. This is a problem because we think the universe is only about 13.8 billion years old, based on what we've seen from the cosmic microwave background. So, how can a star be older than the universe? It doesn't seem possible. This is scientists rethinking how we measure the age of stars and the universe. To get a better handle on this, it helps to know how hard it is to figure out how old things in space are. Stars like our sun stay pretty much the same for billions of years, which makes it tough to know exactly how old they are. Astronomers look at tiny changes in a star's brightness and color over time and compare those changes to models that predict how stars change as they age. One important thing they look at is how fast a star is spinning. Stars slow down over time, kind of like a spinning top. By comparing the spin of stars of different ages, scientists have come up with ways to guess a star's age using something called gyrochronology. Methuselah, the star we're talking about, is really old. Some say it's the oldest star we've ever found. Instead of wondering if it's really 2 billion years older than the universe, maybe we should ask if the universe itself is older than we thought. It's hard to imagine how long 13.8 billion years is. If we shrunk the whole history of the universe into a year, Earth wouldn't show up until late on December 31st, and human history would only be a few seconds before midnight. Astronomers figure out the age of the universe by looking at light from faraway stars that form pretty soon after the Big Bang. As the universe keeps getting bigger, this light stretches out, which we call redshift. By measuring how far away these stars are and how fast the universe is growing, we've come to the conclusion that the universe is 13.8 billion years old. But some new research from the University of Ottawa suggests that the universe might be much older, maybe around 26.7 billion years old. Professor Riendra Gupta has a theory that combines an old idea from astronomer Fritz Wicke with some new physics. He thinks that protons lose energy over huge distances, which goes against how we usually explain redshift. Gupta says that if we accept this idea, we could see redshift as something more complicated than just the universe expanding. This could change how we estimate the universe's age and might solve some long-standing problems. Gupta's idea is based on the concept of tired light and the idea that some cosmic interactions might have changed over time, as suggested by physicist Paul Dirk. It's worth remembering that our understanding of the universe's age has changed a lot. Back in the 1920s, Edwin Hubble thought the universe was only 2 billion years old. But we've changed that estimate a lot since then. Whether human history is 5 or 10 seconds on the cosmic timeline, the universe is definitely incredibly old. And the fact that it's still expanding makes us question what we thought we knew about its age. 
At the same time, we're getting some interesting new info about the Milky Way. It turns out that stars on the edges of our galaxy are moving slower than stars in other galaxies. There are a couple of ideas about why this might be. One is that our galaxy might not have as much dark matter, which is something we can't see but helps hold galaxies together. Another is that we might not fully understand dark matter or how it's spread throughout the universe. We know this because of data from the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite, which has mapped almost 2 billion stars in the Milky Way. This has made scientists rethink how stars move, especially on the edges of our galaxy. How fast stars orbit is important for figuring out how much a galaxy weighs. Since gravity depends on mass, a recent analysis of Gaia's data suggests that the Milky Way might weigh about 200 trillion times the mass of our sun. That's a lot less than we thought before. This could mean that there's less dark matter in our galaxy than we thought. Still, it's really tricky to measure a galaxy's mass, and the error could be because of Gaia's measurements or how we're analyzing the data. As we get more information, scientists will keep looking into this. Soon, new technology and space missions should help us solve these space mysteries. The James Webb Space Telescope, which can take amazing pictures of deep space, is ready to help us learn even more about the universe. We want to figure out not just how old stars in the universe are, but also how galaxies work, what dark matter is, and what forces shape the cosmos. The fact that the universe is still growing is a big part of what we know about space. But as we learn more, we might realize that some of our old ideas were wrong. One big question is whether the laws of physics are the same everywhere in the universe and at all times. Could there be things we haven't discovered yet that affect how galaxies behave and how long stars live? As our tools get better, we might see things that make us rethink even our most basic scientific beliefs. Scientists are starting to think that we don't fully understand dark matter, dark energy, or the basic forces of nature. Every new discovery, from faraway galaxies to ancient stars, gives us important clues about the universe. But these discoveries also create new puzzles, pushing us to go beyond what we already know. The idea that stars might be older than the universe or that the universe itself could be older than we thought means we need to take a hard look at our current understanding of the cosmos. This might mean coming up with new ideas about physics, changing our theories, and maybe even changing how we think about space, time, and existence. These developments also bring up some big philosophical questions about reality and our place in the universe. If these ideas turn out to be true, they wouldn't just change our science, they could change how we see everything. As we keep debating how old the universe really is, it's clear that we're about to make some big discoveries about space. The next few years could give us answers to questions that people have been asking for thousands of years. Whether it's finding ancient stars, figuring out dark matter and dark energy, or learning about cosmic forces we didn't know existed, the universe is still full of secrets waiting to be revealed. There is a quest defined by curiosity, careful experiments, and constantly refining our ideas. We might not have all the answers yet, but the thrill of discovery has just gotten started. Stay tuned for more explorations of these potential new ideas and keep that sense of wonder. Who knows what amazing things we'll learn next? If you're excited to stay up to date on the latest space science, make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. The future looks to be filled with new findings. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its amazing cameras, is likely to be a key part of finding the universe's biggest secrets. It's already showing us new things about faraway galaxies, exoplanets, and other space events. But this is just the beginning. As Webb continues to explore, it might find information that challenges what we think we know about how the universe works. One of the most exciting things we're looking for is planets that could have life. With some recently planets in areas where life could exist, the possibility of finding life beyond Earth seems more real than before. While these don't prove that there is life out there, they make it more likely and give us hope that life might exist elsewhere in the cosmos. 
Even finding simple life on another world would be a major thing for science and philosophy, changing how we think about biology, evolution, and our place in the universe. Also, as we keep exploring dark matter and dark energy, our scientific ideas will probably be challenged and changed. These mysterious things make up most of the universe, but we don't know much about them yet. Some of the biggest questions in physics today are figuring out what dark matter and dark energy really are and how they're making the universe expand. If scientists can solve these puzzles, it could lead to some amazing new about how reality works. At the same time, how galaxies change and move is still a big question. The that stars on the edges of the Milky Way are moving slower than expected has made experts rethink how galaxies work. This new could mean that our galaxy and others have less dark matter than we thought. If that's true, it could change how we understand gravity and the structure of the universe. This is a great example of how new can make scientists rethink even the most basic theories, sometimes overturning important ideas about the cosmos. Similarly, the that galaxies might be going through things we don't fully understand shows that we need a more complex and detailed approach to studying space. Could it be that the universe is much older than we think? Might there be times or events in the past that we haven't discovered yet? These are the questions that astronomers and physicists will keep asking as they knew from current and space missions.